Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about uh, our WS425 Valley Condition. It's pretty common, commonly found on most residences and commercial buildings. Um, so we're going to walk you through all the installation techniques on this. Uh, so let's get started. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. All right, so the first step that you're gonna to wanna to be taking with your valley pan, uh, you wanna make sure that the center of the valley this little, uh, the actual W of the valley is lined up center with the, uh, the center of the valley itself on your framing. Next step, you're gonna wanna come down to the edge of your bullnose eave that you've already installed and make sure that your, your corners here are lined up. So once all that's in place, you're gonna have to go underneath the valley pan, trace out where your eave trim comes across and all the way through. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit hard to get video of that, but I will get going on that. We'll kind of flip it over and show you guys what we came out with. So we got the whole bottom side of this traced out. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my square, just kind of line it up here and continue tracing through the actual pan of the valley here. And same thing on this side. Please note that I am using a Sharpie uh, just because this is a little bit harder, a little bit harder material color to actually see a pencil mark on. So typically when you're doing install, you're gonna to wanna to be using a contractor's pencil like usual. Okay. Now that we got that all traced out, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add two inches to the actual W part of the valley. And I'm gonna cut that off somewhat square to start off. Now that we have this all marked out, we're gonna start by cutting, uh, cutting the actual pan of the valley all the way back to here. You don't wanna quite cut into the, uh, to the W of the valley yet. Then we're gonna repeat this process on the same side over here. And uh, then we're gonna work up the actual uh, valley, the W of the valley itself, and get that detailed. Now that that's done, we'll just trim this guy back until we can flip it over. So the whole purpose of leaning, uh, leaving that W in the valley a little bit long, uh, once we flip this over, get it in place, we're actually gonna end up snipping right down the center of this and we're gonna fold it and trim the bottom so it caps off the, the W of the valley so you don't get any bugs or birds or anything like that going up in it. So. Now we can flip it over and keep going. Now that we have the valley pan on the roof, everything's lined out, our corners are good. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the plastic off this, uh, put a couple screws in it to keep it in place, and then I'm gonna address the, the W of the valley there. Now that I have this first section peeled, I'm gonna pin the bottom to make sure this thing doesn't go anywhere on the roof, and then I'm gonna continue peeling the plastic the rest of the way up. Um, there are a few different ways that you can go with the plastic. Some people like to take a um, take a square and actually score the plastic, leave the plastic in the valley. In this particular case, we're just gonna peel the plastic and uh, then install, install our panels all the way up. So in this particular instance, since we're just basically installing this on a single pitch roof, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go up to the top. I'm gonna trace out everything just like I did uh, down here on the bottom. 
Uh, you can leave your, your two inches up there to close off that top and your top peak trim will come together on the corner. Uh, if you're running a valley to valley condition to where there's, uh, for instance, a dormer, you're gonna wanna run the, uh, first of all, fold the top down over the other valley and you're gonna want to run the W of the valley, usually close to two feet long. That way when you come in with your next valley pan, you can run those two W's in together. So we finished uh, trimming up the top of the, of the valley pan. Now we're gonna go through and finish fastening everything down. Uh, we recommend fastening roughly every 12 inches on center on both sides going all the way up. Uh, if your engineer has specified something different, I would go with what, the, what your engineer is recommending. Um, so we're just gonna stick with our standard installation for now. Got all the screws installed all the way up, all the way up the panel, roughly every 20 or every 12 inches on center. Uh, next thing we're going to go through, and I'll show you how to address the uh, the W of the valley itself. Get everything closed off, keep all the bugs, birds, stuff like that out of it. So what I'm going to do right here, I'm just going to end up running my square. We're going to make a line coming all the way down this, and the same thing on this other side over here. And from there, you're gonna take your snips. You wanna go right up the high of the valley here. All right, so we're gonna fold our first one under. It's one thing that we could do. We can make just a, a rough mark here on our piece. Cover our bottoms there. Snip right across. Oh, and we're going to take our next one, fold that down. First, we'll start with the square cut. From our outside, we're going to fold that down, and we're now going to square cut this one straight up. off the end of the panel. Uh, we just got everything finished up down here on the W part of the valley, closing everything off. Uh, next thing we're going to do is make our layout for, uh, from the low part of our valley here up to the bottom of the panel. Uh, standard On a standard color, uh, you're looking at a 48 inch wide um, or an oversized valley. You'd be looking at 12 and 3 quarter from the low to the bottom of your panel. This particular color is a, a narrower master coil. So we're actually gonna be running about 10 and a half inches from the low of our valley to the bottom of the panel because we do have a six inch minimum recommendation for the back pan on the actual valley. So I'm gonna use the square here, place it down in the low of the valley and measure up. It's either that or with that six inch measurement, you can run square off the bottom and make your six inch mark here. And then we're gonna do that on all four sides, top and bottom and snap a line I'm also gonna make a mark two inches up because that's where my fasteners are gonna be through the panel. So that's gonna be the center of my mastic. So let's get everything marked out on this. I'm gonna put a, well, that's a W for you. <laughs> uh, an M for mastic. All right, so now that we have everything marked out top and bottom, we're gonna go through uh, and snap two lines with a chalk line. You wanna make sure that you're not using a permanent chalk line. So they have two different or multiple different types and colors of chalk. Um, so just make sure that you're using, typically a blue chalk is not gonna be, um, is not gonna be permanent. You just wanna make sure on the actual bottle itself before you, before you start snapping lines on the metal. Uh, now that we got both of our lines chalked, uh, we're going to run our mastic up both sides and then we can start paneling all the way across. All 
All right, so now that we have our uh, mastic all laid out uh, across our valleys, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Uh, right now we're using a bullnose eave. Typically, if you're doing a, a fixed eave, you could just use a 90 degree. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna mark two inches up all the way across, mastic that, and uh, then we're gonna start installing panels. To learn how to fasten your panels for a fixed valley installation, or a more common floating valley condition with joggle cleat, watch our step-by-step -step videos. Links can be found in the description below. You can find step-by-step -step installation videos and homeowner guides on our channel. And don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribe. Want to learn more? Check out these videos.